Already met two of this year's finalists for the High Five for Teachers contest, Adrian Edwards of Maynard H. Jackson High School and Ty Manning of Morgan County High School. Yeah, so now it is time to meet our third finalist. Good day, Atlanta's Paul Milliken sat down with Rebecca Jordan of South Paulding High School. Everything doesn't have to be a right or a wrong answer. Right. Rebecca Jordan learned early what it means to have a really good teacher. In sixth grade, I had Miss Nader in Barracks Elementary. She was wonderful. She made me feel so special. And she didn't treat me any different from the other students. She just had made you feel that way. And I wanted to make others feel that way. And Jordan gets that opportunity every single day now as a teacher herself at South Paulding High School. And I've always had a heart for students with special needs. I've taught students with all different types of disabilities. But my heart really goes out to those that are severe and profound. They are God's precious little angels, and I'm put here to make sure that I help them reach their full potential. Hmm. A big part of that is helping her students communicate. The texts tell people their clothes are clean. Jordan's room is a mix of high tech and handmade tools. You have to get crafty. Yes. <laughs> but her work extends far beyond this colorful classroom door. And when they're in the hospital or sick or, or whatever, I try to make sure that I know what's going on with them and, and with the parents too. Being a parent of a child with special needs 24 seven, it is so hard. And a, a lot of people don't understand that, you know, what, I may have this child six, seven hours a day, but they have this child all the time. And these parents need, need understanding, they need love, they need care and concern, and they need someone that understands what they're going through, mm -hmm. because it's not easy. It's safe to say that's the kind of dedication that would have made her sixth grade teacher very proud. Awesome. Paul Milliken. This is what I was meant to be. Good day, Atlanta. Hey, guys, come on in. And keep an eye out for Paul's profiles of the next two finalists airing right here on Good Day Atlanta in the next couple of weeks. Then it's going to be your turn to vote online for your favorite. So each finalist has already won $500, but the winner receives $2,500 for his or her school, courtesy of Montlick and Associates. Where were these teachers when I was in school? Yeah, seriously. So nice. that's, how we, that's why we turned out the way we did. Right? No, I kid. We had great teachers. <laughs>